Hello. I want to talk a little bit about the novel written by H.G. Wells called The Island of Dr. Moreau. It's interesting, the name Moreau, which is probably linked to Roma and Cro-Magnon. And it'll make more sense once you understand uh, the allegory that they're showing in the book. Now, personally, I haven't read the book. But um, the upcoming audio, I think it's a guy reading from the book. So I just read, um, watched the movie that came out in 77 and uh, listened to the audio. Yeah, in the movie, they they add in the whole love story and happy ending, stuff like that. But I, I feel, personally, I feel the audio got straight to the point and had a lot more in there. It's interesting, too, when you look in an encyclopedia and look up the definition of law, one of the definitions is uh, a Torah. You'll see the five books of the Torah, which just means uh, a law around your mind. And that's what Dr. Moreau uses on his uh, his uh, beast people, his animal people, which really is all allegory for us again, the human population. So we had these beasts, which is how we're referred to by our managers. He had these beasts uh, fooling them into wanting to be human or giving this idea of what human is. And then I realized that the whole idea of we've, we've been told of what being human is, good and evil, you're good if you do this evil if you do that see they set the standards of what good and evil is good and evil always changes over every period in time so it's like it's just a box to put you in and in reality good and evil is just part of one reality inside the spine but they polarize that and control you, put you in a box, which a box is, by the way, uh, to s- perfect you. So in their eyes, they're perfecting us. Oh, you're human if you do this, you're human if you do that. Well, all it really means is just to be tame and, and domesticated. You know, They split it off between humans and animals, and in reality, we're just animals called human beings. speak so of your bridal gown. I've found my true mate. And you know it. Never. Beneath the skin, we are already one. Was it not your sin trapped the unicorn? Even now, the evil seed of what you've done germinates within you. You lie. You disgust me. You're nothing but an animal. <laughs> we are all animals, my lady. Most are too afraid to see it. <laughs> I guess the benefit of being a human being is that you have a choice in a matter as opposed to an animal, another animal who doesn't have uh, any reason. 
a lot. It's a big responsibility when you think about it. And really, Doctor Moreau was really cold himself, and he admitted that because he chose to bring pain to these animals. He chose to do that to gratify his own needs his own immediate ends and reality because he all these animals and servants they were all just serving him it was all to serve him and that's the story of Neanderthaler but the main character is, it's his story it's, it's similar to all seekers of truth when you see the when you realize the horrors of the world this world is the island of Dr. Moreau and one more thing before I forget uh, Dr. Moreau he called it the house of pain we went to go punish uh, people who disobeyed the law and really the house of pain is just I guess what they meant was that's what it means to be human is to go through pain because that's what the system does it and it's not just the system that does it it's just when you learn in living it's it's painful but you always come back wiser and tougher from it 